All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is a uh, Wednesday afternoon, and I am just doing a test run. Two different cameras here that I currently have. One of them is new to me, not new, but new to me. And uh, I'm testing image stabilization. So, and the other camera is my action camera that I use as my bird cam. And I'm checking image stabilization on that as well, as well as sound, to see how sound is. So Glenn just stopped flying. <laughs> Wasn't a great day for him. Uh, he came with four airplanes. One is going back, not damaged <laughs> or broken. Uh, three are not working. So, and the only reason the fourth is not broken or damaged is because he didn't fly it. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm just doing a test, like I said, a test, test run, test walk. This is the area they used to drag, uh, drag race. When Glenn used to drag race his RC cars, this was their uh, drag, drag strip, so to speak. And we're going to turn around and we're going to go over there where they're actually, uh, some people are actually uh, playing in the dirt track. So we'll go over there. Hope everyone's having a great day, great day and a great week so far. Can't complain here. Life is good. It's a beautiful day. Actually, it's been kind of chilly, and today and the two next two days after this, supposed to be in the 70s, mid to high 70s. So, I gotta admit that's good for Glenn. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. He's gonna have some good days. Oh, by the way, Glenn used to do this too. <laughs> RC trucks. He has Grave Digger. He has some other trucks. I probably don't want to stand too close to the edge of the track there in case they came flipping off. And we are just on top of a hill. Looking down at the same uh, track that they're racing on. They're not really racing. They're just uh, messing around. Glenn's over there with Gypsy talking to a couple of the people. Okay, everyone, so I just did those test uh, runs of both cameras to see how they are while I'm walking, image stabilization. Um, I'll explain a little later on what that's all about. Um, I'm recording on my phone now because I got to put the other two cameras away. But we're just, uh, we're all packed up. We're almost ready to go home now. Wasn't the day Glenn thought it was, we, we both thought it was going to be. Uh, they called for light winds, and while he was flying, it was heavy winds. Not super heavy, but heavy enough to uh, um, kind of make the airplanes kind of a little out of control. So, yeah. So, today didn't quite work out the way he wanted. Uh, but it doesn't always work out the way you think. That's life. Um, so he's got some work to do on some airplanes. I'll show you the trailer, how it's packed up. 
All right, so here is the side door of the trailer. We've got his step, all his uh, stuff for his RC airplanes. That's just a little baggie of uh, food we brought. We ate some summer sausage sandwiches, so we had lunch here. Um, you know, just packing up some of the stuff. And uh, this is my camera bag. It's now a camera bag slash um, gypsy food and treat bag. <laughs> so I put all her food and treats in there. And then this is the bed. You can see he's got three airplanes on the bed. There's one small one back there. This one, this one, and the other big one is in the back of the truck. So we pretty much clear off the counter. Everything gets cleared off when we're in driving mode. And uh, yeah, so this is the trailer. That's the back door where the scooter will go right there when we're done. And it's our fishing poles up there. Yes, when I took the trailer, kind of took it apart this spring after the water damage. Uh, none of the paneling went back up because it was damaged. And uh, we decided we're just not going to put the money back into this trailer. If we ever come into enough funds to buy another trailer, uh, we would go bigger. Um, so I wouldn't have to sleep in the back of the truck. So... <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's it for now. I'll show you where his big airplane is after I put my two cameras away. And uh, we're almost ready to go home. All right, here's the back of our truck. And Glenn's, Glenn's bigger airplane is right there. We put it back here because it's so big. But this is the one he did not fly because of how the winds were. Uh, he didn't want to take a chance on that getting destroyed. So, so yeah, one airplane going home intact. <laughs> All right. So just to give you an overview, uh, this, of course, our truck and trailer. And just an overview, that gazebo over there is where Gypsy and I usually hang out while Glenn's flying. And he hangs out over here with the other pilots. And, yeah. So, what I do, because there's a white entrance right here, I usually will, as we're coming up this driveway here, I'll loop it all around here, and then loop all the way up there, and then back the trailer all the way back here, so our opening is near this opening, so I don't have to haul stuff a long way. Makes it easier for me. So yeah. And I always have Gypsy's water bowl and some water for her and food and treats. So. Yeah, it's a pretty nice gazebo. On a hot day, if there's a breeze, we are staying very cool up here. So that's pretty nice. And on the other side of the chain link fence are where all the pilots work on their planes. Uh, surprisingly, only one other guy was out here flying today. But I guess after feeling the wind, <laughs> not too surprised. So I'm going to go over there where Glenn and Gypsy are. And then uh, I'll see you guys at home. All right, everyone, so we are home from the RC flying field. Uh, we've been home for probably over an hour now, maybe an hour or so. Uh, we just had some hot dogs when we came home, and then later on we're going to eat the sombrero salad, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so right in front of you is a bench. This bench was sitting by our front door. So <laughs> over there in the fire pit... There was a long bench that used to sit where this bench is sitting. <laughs> well, one day I was cutting grass and that long bench that is now like falling apart and in the fire pit was on this ramp and I was backing the uh, tractor up to cut the grass around here and <laughs> I forgot the bench was there and I totally backed into the bench and pretty much destroyed it. And I probably could have put it back together, but I let it sit there and I didn't put it back together. So yesterday I mentioned to Glenn that I, uh, I miss having that bench here because it's pretty close to where we sit at the back of the garage. 
and it's great for taking photos and video of the birds and squirrels and what whatever comes by. So Glenn, he also has a creative mind. <laughs> he said, why don't I take that bench and put it here? And so I did. And I had sunflower seeds and peanuts on there. And yesterday I got a goldfinch on there, blue jay, a chickadee. And I got a couple of them on video. So what he also suggested is, because I said I'd like to put something on there that's like picturesque, that will make it stand out with the birds or squirrels on there. And he suggested uh, doing it up in a fall scheme. So maybe trying to find some like solar pumpkin lights or something and string it on the back wall of the bench. And I thought maybe some pumpkins on the side of the bench or whatever we can find for fall. I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and see what I can find to decorate up this bench. So, so it can look pretty and maybe get a nice video or photos with birds and squirrels. And it looks nice. Skeletons. The what? Scarecrows, skeletons. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Glenn suggested maybe a scarecrow or skeleton for Halloween. Yeah, that's a great idea. I never even thought about the scarecrows. So, yeah. So, yeah, all that was Glenn's idea <laughs> to uh, put it up in a fall scheme. So, that's great. So, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and see what I can find for this bench to doctor it up a little bit and make it look pretty when it's uh, got video on it. I did get some pretty nice video of a chickadee on the back rest of that bench. It was really nice and a goldfinch was on there and I didn't get the blue jay as much but he did land on the back rest and then jump down to where the peanuts are. I got the peanuts laying where on the seat where you would sit down so so yeah pretty excited and maybe during Christmas time I can uh, if we don't have too much snow I can uh, decorate it up for Christmas and try to get some uh, shots that way too. So I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, Gypsy and I are just sitting at the back of the garage, kind of taking the last of the day in. Um, you can see it's sun setting over there. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of taking the rest of the day in, relaxing. Uh, before we go in so you can see a squirrel at the bottom of the bench there so yeah let's see what we get there <laughs> 